<laughs> there you are. I was hoping to run into you in particular. Mm, though, I was hoping to save you for last. <laughs> but since you're here, I suppose there's no harm in indulging myself now. <laughs> oh, I love that look on your face. <laughs> that particular look of fear, confusion, and panic. <laughs> Just something about it makes me so insatiably hungry. <laughs> It's almost as if part of you still doesn't quite understand what's going on here. Then again, you were unconscious when I brought you here, so I feel as if it's all too understandable. Where are you? Why, you're in my kitchen, of course. <laughs> Though I suppose your confusion is understandable. While it does look an awful lot like an abandoned graveyard, I can assure you this is my kitchen. Mine. My kitchen. My pantry. My freezer. My meat locker. <laughs> Regardless of what you want to call it, this is where I keep my food. <laughs> hmm. Still nothing? Has it not sunken in yet? What is that? What exactly is happening? Well, let's see. You do still have that oh so delicious look of fear on your face. So at least your survival skills are still kicking in, but. You still have that doe-eyed, deer-caught-in-the-headlights look about you. Which means you're still not quite where I want you to be. Mm, come on now. You're almost there. I can see the wheels turning, light flickering, brain cells working extra hard. <laughs> but you still haven't gotten the whole picture yet, have you? I mean, come on. It shouldn't be that hard. Take a close look at me. What do I look like to you, exactly? A psycho? Well, I can't really say that you're wrong. But that's a bit more of a broad term. I was hoping for something a bit more specific. Mm, now, come on now. I'm sure it's been such a long time since you've had to think this hard. But I believe in you. Just tell me what... <laughs> <laughs> and what exactly is that? Oh, a knife. Is that what that is? Mm, could have sworn it was a netting needle. Oh, you're going to kill me, are you? <laughs> Take your best shot. Oh no, I believe you. Really. I can tell by that look on your face that you mean business. <laughs> mm, please don't hurt me. I'm already so scared. You have me absolutely trembling. <laughs> You're not going to do anything. I would advise you drop that knife before you cut yourself. <laughs> On second thought, please do. The scent of your blood in the air would only serve to whet my appetite. And I've already had my fill. 
Have you figured it out yet? Have you finally made the connection? Has rubbing those brain cells together finally paid off? I want you to tell me. What am I? <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> I knew your blood would taste good, but that was truly delicious. And paired with that scent, <laughs> it's intoxicating. Oh, and you're screaming. <laughs> it's truly music to my ears. I could listen to it all night. I was right in my initial thought. Someone like you should definitely be saved for a special occasion. I just needed a quick taste to be sure. <laughs> and now that I am, I am never letting you go. Mm. What will I do to you? Well, nothing, of course. Well, nothing yet. As I said earlier, I plan on saving you for a special occasion. Much like a bottle of champagne. I wouldn't dream of draining your blood on a mere whim. No, someone with your blood must be savored. Hmm. Though I suppose until I have a proper place to store you, you are free to walk among the tombstones. Mm -hmm. Tie you up? Now why would I bother with something so tedious? Especially when I know you can't go anywhere. What do I mean? Well, exactly what I just said. You can't go anywhere. I have no real reason to tie you up, stick you in a room, or keep an eye on you when I know exactly where you are, and that you can't get far. As I said earlier, this graveyard is my kitchen. It's the place where I store my food. Do you really think I'd keep my food in a place where it can just leave? If you'll be so kind as to take a look over there, far off into the distance, you'll notice a very large fence. Originally, it was put in place to keep out grave robbers and other would-be trespassers. I went and took the liberty of modifying it a bit, making it nice and sturdy and impossible to climb. I also went ahead and sealed off the exits as well, so no need to worry about you getting loose. So you see, there's no real need for me to worry, because I know exactly where my food is. So there's really nowhere for you to run or hide, because I know this place like the back of my hand. And with your delicious scent, I could sniff you out from a mile away. So really, you can hide as much as you want. It won't really matter. I'll always know exactly where you are. Mm, but now I'm suddenly hungry all over again. I suppose it has been some time since I restocked my kitchen. So I guess I'll have to go back out and stock up again. <laughs> Do try to make yourself comfortable. Well, <laughs> as comfortable as you can. It's not as if you're going anywhere. <laughs> mm.
What's up, Wolfpack? It's Wolf Zero back with another video, and happy 4th of July. I hope you've all had a very wonderful day. I hope you ate some good barbecue, shot some fireworks, and all that good shit. Sorry about the late post. I got a bit of a late start, and uh, this audio was completely improvised, so yeah. Y'all know how I am with improvised shit. It takes a lot longer uh, to get my thoughts out there, but... I uh, figured I might as well try something different. Well, not different, but try something that I haven't tried in a minute. I haven't really done anything yandere, villainous, or spicy lately, and I kind of miss doing those, honestly. So I'm going to start doing more of those just to mix it up. Uh, part two of the Summoners series will be coming out uh, hopefully next. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said I was going to improv it, and I'm sorry, but I honestly don't think I can. I can't remember if I did, but if I did say that, I'm sorry. I don't think I can do it. Some things are just easier to improv than others. Also, uh, apologies if you hear fireworks going off in the background. Because I don't think there's much I can do about that. But anyways, yeah, I'm uh, just going to work on scripts uh, for the series. Just because it'll be easier for me to get them out. But yeah, uh, other than that, I'm still working on getting uh, original content posted. Uh, got a few ideas for some audios that are definitely more heavily yandere, villainous, and spicy. Because honestly, I miss doing those kind of audios too. Everyone needs a little spice every now and then. <laughs> uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, no, I don't think there's anything else to report. So with that being said... Thank y'all for listening this far into the audio, and I will see y'all in the next video. Later.